hello long time no see i know but hello guys welcome back to my channel if you guys don't know who i am i am jenny aka jenny from the block don't forget to follow me on instagram subscribe to my youtube channel like this video share and what else <laughs> and that's about it so today i decided why not sit down here and do a makeup tutorial for y'all i'm going to do it in spanish lo voy a hacer en español y inglés para que ustedes puedan seguir todos los pasos y aprender conmigo the look that i'm gonna be bringing you today guys it's a um it's more like a brownish natural look because i've been going off a little too crazy with all those um makeup tutorials P.S. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Uh, we have just seen watching some YouTube cartoon videos. So yeah. So yeah. Ah, let's get started. I look crazy. Don't mind me. Oh, also my sister did my nails. Follow her on Instagram. I will link her tag right here. It's so cute. They came out so cute. She's getting better, y'all. So I'm gonna start with uh, my. I'm gonna be closer. I'm gonna start with my Anastasia brow powder this is in dark brown it's really old i had it for a while now but um i love this it looks really good voy a rellenar aquí un poquito i'm gonna fill in wherever i'm missing some hair lo vamos a hacer lo más natural que se pueda y después lo voy a difuminar con el otro lado de la brocha okay so, las dos cejas están hechas. Both eyebrows are done. I feel like this one is a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna go over a little bit here. Do you guys like old reggaeton or new reggaeton? I like both. There's days that I like to jam my old shit. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know this. Si me siguen en Instagram, ya saben mi corrector favorito. Que es de Too Faced es el Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Son super, super buenos. They're really, really good. I recommend them a lot. You guys want to use a, a brush like this. What you guys want to do is like grab this right here. And just clean your eyebrows. There you go. And you want to do the same thing on the bottom. Okay. Quieren repetir lo mismo que hicieron arriba, abajo. Y por esta razón yo uso un color de mi misma piel. Yo no uso nada más claro o más oscuro. Porque después se va a ver como muy harsh. No sé cómo se dice harsh en español. But you don't want it to make it look too harsh, right? Then I'm going to grab this brush like this. Y we're going to blend out the concealer and the harsh lines. In my pensamiento. So you just want to blend it out and bring it down to your eyelid. ¿Cómo se dice? So that your eyeshadow can last a little bit longer para que, el, para que la sombra le pueda durar un poquito más. Eh, yo ordené este base. Esta base. Es, I ordered this way from P. Louise. Son así. Uh, son muy buenas. Este es el número 2. <laughs> Voy a usar la, el P. Louise base. Y quieren, you guys want to tap this in. Sorry, I'm really bad. Like, I, I gotta do or English or Spanish. But since everybody wants, like, a tutorial in Spanish, I'm trying my best. After this, you gonna, you guys want to get your favorite palette. I'm just going to use, like, a neutral palette today. I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette, and my Cardi, Cardi B, my Cardi, my Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. They have a new a new version of this, but this is just really really old because I had this for so long. So this is what they look like, and the colors are super duper natural. As you can see, I've used this a lot. This one right here, un color natural. You can just grab it and like literally sweep this all over your eyelid. And everything you do, you either want to tap or you want to apply in circular motion. I hope I don't look too ugly. I'm kidding. But anyways, we got this in. Next, we're gonna grab another brush because this one um, we're gonna keep using to go back in, back and forth to blend the colors. 
Lo que hicimos que... Y lo quieren traer un poquito arriba, pero no muy arriba. Why are you screaming? Voy a ir con un café un poquito más oscuro ya ahora. Un pincel un poquito más flat. Is it gonna focus? Yeah. Voy a usar este color que se llama Cano, right here. Y lo vamos a poner aquí. Este no lo quieren llevar muy arriba. Este lo vamos a tratar de mantener aquí en el medio. Can I be for real? This is how I feel. Y ahora con la primera brocha, de nuevo, el color primero que usamos y difuminamos las esquinas. Y estoy aprendiendo. Se llama Mino. Mino. So, vamos a coger esto poquito a poquito. La vamos a trabajar a un poquito más abajo. Pueden coger el corrector o en la base que le enseñé. Yo voy a coger el corrector porque es un chin más brown que, el, que la base que compré. And we're gonna cut our crease a little bit just so that we can apply the light shade right here. So, I'm gonna dot it here. I'm gonna look up. Y eso va a ser mi, mi ayuda para limpiar el, el crease. Aquí al final, I'm just gonna tap the left concealer on like this. Voy a ir a ese primer color que está aquí. Vamos a aplicar ese color. So aquí en este oscuro, we have to work. Tenemos que trabajar y mezclarlo lo más que podamos. This is what our eyeshadow should be looking like en el medio. Moreni se llama. Y lo voy a poner en el medio. En el medio y lo voy a difuminar poco a poco. Para acá. Right, now both of my eyes are done, y'all. And I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And I'm gonna put some lashes on. So now there's more noise because Justin just got up out of his chair. And he got tons of energy now. And this is from Stina, which is my favorite. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I always use this. And this is in, wow. is in intense black. So I usually start from the middle. It honestly depends how I feel about it. And then like sometimes I stop there and then I just do my wing. And then I just bring it in from like there. And I bring it in. Then I fill it in. And I'm gonna apply my lashes. They're gonna let it dry a little bit. And then we're going to apply the falsies on. So, el truco es que el pegamento se seque un poquito para que se ponga pegajosa. And once it's tacky, I want to apply the lashes on. There we go. So now we're gonna move on to the face. First thing I'm gonna use is this YSL moisturizing moisturizer, which I love. It's really, really good. It moisturizes your skin really good. And also, it's super light and it feels super cooling on the skin. That's why I love it so much. I'm gonna be using the concealer. All right, so this is just my, like, like, my, like my little base, and now I'm gonna conceal. Y me gusta porque tienen como un yellow undertone. So, gonna corregir eso. So now that my face is all blended and set, I'm not gonna do cream contour today, and I'm also gonna be using my Max Studio Fix Plus powder in N45, which I love. I'm just gonna grab the powder. My camera is about to die. And I'm literally gonna contour my cheekbones, my nose, and all that that I gotta contour. Right. I'm gonna use this hyper glow. I think they still have it. I'm not 100 percent sure. And then mental room. I know you want it. So 
Pretty. Guys, so yeah. this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy and have learned something new today. Um, I will try to post more, even though I forget sometimes. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on IG. See you on the next one.